Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. Beloved in Christ Jesus, we welcome you to this morning daily devotion. Today, Monday, the 6th of November, 2023. We are looking at the book of Ecclesiastics, chapter 1. We shall be reading from verse 1 to the end. But before we read, I would like us to pray. Let us pray. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let our glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all earth. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Our Father and our God, we worship you this morning. We honor your name. We bless your name. We thank you, O God for the opportunity you have given unto us this morning to be alive, to be among the living. Father in heaven, we know and we recognize that it's not all that went to bed last night that woke up this morning. Father, some woke up with one ailment or the other. But Lord Jesus, you made us healthy. The way we slept, oh God, you watch over us. And this morning, we are hale and hearty. Father, we say, receive all the glory in Jesus' name. As we have come this morning to study your word, Father, your word made us to understand that the entrance of your word giveth light and it giveth understanding. Father, in heaven, we are praying this morning that you grant us the understanding with which, O oh God, we will have to carry your word in our heart, in our home, in our whole being. Father, that we will not walk against you in the mighty name of Jesus. And that this word, O oh God, that we are hearing today, they will not stand against us on the last day in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing us this morning. We pray that you open our heart to oh God. Let our heart be receptive to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 
Amen. We are reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, we are reading from verses 1 to the end. Read with me. The word of the teacher, son of David, king of Jerusalem, meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. What do people gain from all their labors at which they toil under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets and hurried back to where it rises. The wind blows to the south and turns to the north. Round and round it goes, ever returning on its course. All streams flow into the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place the streams come from, there they return again. All things are worrisome, more than one can say. The eyes never has enough of seeing, nor the ear is full of hearing. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say? Look, this is something new. It was here already long ago. It was here before our time. No one remembers the former generations. And even those yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. I, the teacher, was the king over Israel in Jerusalem. I applied my mind to study and to explore by wisdom all that is done under the heavens. What a heavy burden God has laid on mankind. I have seen all the things that are done under the sun. All of them are meaningless. A chasing after the wind. What a cook cannot be straightened. What is lacking cannot be counted. I said to myself, look, I have increased in wisdom more than anyone who has ruled over Jerusalem before me. I have experienced much of wisdom and knowledge. Then I applied myself to the understanding of wisdom and also of madness and fully. But I learned that this too is a chasing after the wind. For with much wisdom comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our theme for this morning's study is vanity upon vanity. Vanity upon vanity. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 is one of the most unusual and perhaps most difficult book of the Bible 
to understand. It has a spirit of helpless despair. It has no praise or peace. It seems to promote questionable conduct. Yet, the word of the preacher shows us that futility and foolishness of life live without an eternity in view. The main aim of this book is to present to the believers that nothing is worth living for and that nothing is worth dying for. King Solomon enjoyed life to the fullest and had the best of everything life has to offer to the point of overflowing. He saw it all. His baffling conclusion is that what appears attractive and glamorous for which many people labor tirelessly is all vanity upon vanity. The preacher also looking at life all around, he judges it to be nothing, vanity, useless, and meaningless. A thin of vapor, a puff of wind, a mere breath, which means life without Christ is close to zero. Nothing you, you could get your hand on eternally because death makes everything work for on earth futile. This study is telling us or reminding us that even as we walk, towards making a living and being comfortable here on earth, we shouldn't lose access to those material things and disregard our primary purpose in life. Our primary purpose in life is to love God Show the same love he offer us to others so that they can come to know him. God wants us to lead others to him through our love for them. Our purpose on earth also is to bring glory to our father. Who is in heaven. We do this by worshiping him and sharing his gospel of truth with those around us. By so doing, his purpose becomes our purpose. What shall it profit a man then if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Mark chapter 8, verse 36. And Matthew chapter 16, verse 26 says, What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet fulfill his soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for his soul? Beloved, we are supposed to do whatever our hands find to do with all sense of commitment. It is not worthy that no height of pleasure should be counted good enough as the purpose for our existence. Jesus Christ admonishes that we should not labor for things that perishes in this world which are 
acquisition of money, attainment of positions, and gathering of material possessions. It could be houses, fleet of cars, what to wear our apparel. Name them should not define our existence as children of God because they all are vanity upon vanity. I want to encourage us this morning to rather live for God, for God's pleasure, for our eternal home. God's wisdom demands that we live each day as if it's the last. We live each day as if though it's the last. Our focus must be to please the Lord in every facet of our lives. May the Lord bless his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray to this prayer. Father, give me the grace to live for your pleasure in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for today and for the power of your word. In our lives, in our home, in our family, in everything that we put our hands to God. Father, help us to seek you first. Lord, that because your word has told us that when we seek you first, every other thing will be added. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. Let this word bless our hearts and bless our homes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.